Well, gentlemen, congratulations. The two of you guys are moving forward into round three of the competition, where we send you to your home forges to build one of these two weapons from our Forged and Fire Vault. And the weapon you'll be building in round three is the Pira Sword. I'm seeing this sword with a wonky Zorro-shaped handle and about a 24 to 28 inch blade. And I'm thinking, not so bad. I think I can make this. Featured in season seven of Fortune Fire, the Pira is an ornate versatile sword used by the Yakan tribe in the Southern Philippines. The weapon's unique blade shape and long pommel proved to be challenging for both smiths who were ultimately forced to start over the third day of their builds. Ultimately, one smith was unable to secure the mechanical connection to her handle in time, forcing the judges to issue a vote of no confidence due to safety concerns. You will have four days of your home forges to work on your pair of blades, so good luck. We'll see you then. My name is Garrett Kemble. I'm 41 years old and I've been bladesmithing for about two years. What I like about bladesmithing is it's a big hot piece of steel. You can't take your eye off that and you have to be in the moment. The first thing I'm gonna do is get the forge fired up. Now that I'm roughly to shape, feels good, I'm gonna go over to the belt grinder so I can cut more material away. I check parameters and I'm dead on. Murdered it. We're pretty close to quenching. I'm ready to heat treat. We might have to quench again. She's not skating like she should. I'm not happy with the file test, so I'm gonna quench again. I just don't think it sat in there long enough. This quench, the temperature looked better, looked more even, uh, a longer quench. All right, we're good. I start working on what's essentially a guard. I'm drilling it out to make it fit the tank. It was a little fiddly. I'm hesitant about the fit and the quality, but overall, I'm happy. Side note, this is the only piece of this wood I have. Everything's going smoothly. I'm Davey Wilson, I'm 49 years old, and I'm a master barber. Unfortunately, I'm losing the master barber's hair on top of my head. My dad and I took class together, and after we built our very first knife, I looked over and I said, hey, you wanna build another one? He said, I sure do. Part of the reason I am here now is to make Dad proud. Well, hey, Dad. Hey. Had a visitor this morning. Just about to get started on this sword. Any time in the past when Dad would stop in, he'd jump right in and, and help me with the knife build. I don't know if he was disappointed or relieved that he didn't have to help with this build. I'd like to help on something like that, but at least it's a shorter one. Though. That's right. <laughs> it's different than anything we've done before. I'll see you later. All right, see ya. Feels good. I believe that he's gonna be extremely proud of how this blade performs. I believe we got a good straight blade. I'm having trouble just getting this walnut cut through, having to use some chisels. Sometimes it needs a little persuasion. Whew, finally it worked. Once we epoxy and pin the blade to the handle, it's gonna be one homogenous piece. Looking good, it's holding there. I've got the handle to a comfortable point. Now it's time to test. It's pretty sharp, but it's not, not where it needs to be. For my first pier, I'm pretty happy with it. Please, Fitz, welcome to the kill test. To find out how lethal your weapons are according to its historic design, I'm gonna take your weapon and deliver some lethal blows on whatever's behind the curtain. I'm gonna find out how effective your weapons are at the same time how they feel when I wield them. Garrett, you're first. You ready for this? Yep, let's do this. I don't know if they're just gonna swing through the sheet of whatever's on the other side. It's just, you know, one more game in the Forge of Mystery. All right, Garrett, let's talk about your Pira sword here. Your handle construction, well done. Your edge is very sharp. It allows me to cut deeply and swing well with your weapon. Overall, sir, you will kill. Thank you. All right, Davey, are you set, sir? You're next. Yes, sir.
All right, Davey, let's talk about your Pita sword here. First up in your design, it's a very forward heavy weapon. As you can see, just by looking at the spine, it's thick here and it tapers down to the guard. Now your edge is sharp. With a forward weight, it chops into the pig carcass, but slicing, not quite because you have to control the weight of the weapon, but it will kill. Yeah, it will. Gentlemen, you know what time it is. The mystery strength test. Now, these strength tests are not concerned about what your blades do to the target, more what that target does to your blades. Garrett, you're up first. Are you ready? Let's do it. So Garrett, right off, I liked the feel of the weapon. The balance was nice, the weight was nice. I had no issues. Looking at that break, your grain structure is beautiful. All I can really say is that that tang is a little on the lean side, and maybe that where this married up, there was just enough movement in there that it allowed it to, to blow apart as, a, as opposed to being tight and held together. Mm -hmm. But uh, it definitely felt like a nice weapon. Thank you. Garrett, that is painful to see, man. But you are not out of the fight yet. Davey, your blade has to survive one strike on this brutal test. And if you do, you win. Dave? All right, Davey, man, there's a lot of weapon here. Your grinds are beautiful. I think your handle's beautiful and comfortable. There's no edge damage on this at all. Awesome. I would not run my finger down this blade. You nailed the heat treat on that. Good job. Thank you. Well, Davey, the bell is rung, and you survived it, man. Congratulations. Garrett, we hate to see this happen. We always want to see more testing done, but unfortunately, your blade did break during the testing. We can't continue. For that reason, today, you are not the Fortune Fire champion. I want to say thank you for coming out. I have to ask you to please leave the forge, man. Thanks. Davey, your blade survived the test, and that makes you the Forge and Fire champion. You're going to be leaving here with a check for $10,000, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Do you have any plans for the money? A little more mustache grooming stuff. <laughs> I am so elated right now. Thank you so much. Knowing where my journey started, when I didn't know anything about swinging hammers and forging metal, Dad, I'm the new Forged and Fire champion. I'm coming home a winner.